friends, how are you? I'm just starting today's vlog with um, French toast. All I did was whisk two eggs, drop of milk, coriander, salt, pepper and red chilli flakes and then coated the bread in it and then fried it until it was crispy and cooked on both sides. So it's simple as, simple as that. I'm not making an in-depth video about that but in order to start off the vlog weekend I thought I would include this footage and uh, give you ideas for breakfast. But with this we had some beans and we had some coffee. And um, I use, for my coffee I use erythritol, sweetener and some water and some cream. But for my husband's it was just normal sugar, two spoons of sugar, coffee and whole milk and just topped it with whipped cream and then just put some sprinkles on it as well and it's really nice and it's such, I don't normally drink coffee but it's now been such an addition to my day and it just keeps me going. Um, it used to really really hurt my stomach but now I, I really have, I'm absolutely fine with it and the flavoured coffee makes it a little bit more palatable and of all the flavoured coffees I would definitely recommend the chocolate one and I just got these from Aldi's they're really cheap you can get them in all different flavours I've tried the orange, white chocolate, raspberry, caramel, hazelnut and the best one is chocolate you can't even taste the chocolate but it just has another a hint of something um, that makes it a little bit better Don't these coffees look so delicious? They were really nice. I heated up some beans and then served the hot French toast and um, beans and my husband and I just chatted whilst we had our breakfast and the kids were in the living room just playing. And it's so nice, we don't often get the chance to eat together because of my husband's shifts. So when he is home I do like to make the effort to sit at the dining table and eat normally it's just we just eat when we get time or whenever we're hungry when it's just myself and my son and my daughter but um, it's nice to just eat at the table and talk and chat my in-laws sent me some clothes they sent me a green dress and they sent my son this kind of yellowy green and black um, shalvar kameez it's really nice um, I'll probably post um, a video when we, we wear these but it was so nice to send, of them to send them all the way from Pakistan, they were beautiful quality, great fit, lovely clothes um, for an event that's coming up in January and this is what the dress looks like in the shop it's hard to show it in the plastic wrap So then later on my, I took my son and my niece, two nieces and nephew to soft play, Dino M8. Um, because my son didn't have a birthday party this year I just thought um, after inviting everyone over to our house for dinner I thought I'll take the kids out and whilst they were playing I just edited on my laptop and it was good I actually managed to get quite a lot done. Um, despite it being quite noisy I managed to actually really get through it and in the house sometimes I don't get to. Uh, the Grinch visited us and also Santa walked past um, and this was us when we were leaving. I got all the kids in, because uh, I've never taken out four kids at one time, I got them to hold each other's hands in groups of two and I was behind them uh, or I was in the lollipop lady in front of them. So after soft play we went to um, McDonald's. Sorry friends, I had to stop recording there um, because I sneezed. <laughs> Okay, so we ordered some Happy Meals and some fellow little fish burgers and the four of us just chatted and um, as we ate and it was nice 
Um, it wasn't a McDonald's we normally go to, and we don't. We wouldn't normally go. They would normally go to Pepe's, but due to um, it being Christmas and then there been parking issues, that's why I kind of avoided that area until after Christmas. Um, so this is us having a lovely time eating our food. Um, I didn't get any footage at soft play because there were so many other kids there. I didn't want to include the other kids, and even here it was very busy. But that's why I kept the camera low, and my nieces and nephews uh, don't wish to be included in the vlogs. Show you the first time I've made a gift hamper. So I've used this beautiful basket, glue dots. I got this one pound gift hamper set in Poundland. And I bought this for £4. It's a white chocolate Thornton teddy bear. So I bought some items from the body shop. I bought these orange flowers to decorate, Fred Rocha to decorate, a little candle and um, this little pink body buffer thing. And I'll show you how I put it together. So firstly I got opened up the pack, the gift hamper pack. And I included a cellophane wrap, some of this shredded paper and a gold ribbon. So I put that at the bottom and I had um, some pink um, tissue paper in the house. So I put that in and I tried to just move things around in order to get everything into a nice position. Um, and just so the hamper looked quite full and it was all the treats that I wanted to get from my friend and things that I knew that she liked. Um, white chocolate's her favourite and this mango gift set. It was like body wash, shower gel travel and like soap um, set and then for colour wise I've got this little Yankee candle uh, like a tea light thing and then I bought these flowers online and I just took the top off just to decorate um, the hamper and I really felt like the pink and orange combination was quite nice so once I put everything in the position that I wanted I got these glue dots out and honestly they're not really that good so you're probably better using double sided tape or something else but I just put it on just to kind of roughly adhere the items where I wanted them to go and hopefully in transit they wouldn't move around too much. Once I'd fixed all the items where I wanted to I covered the hamper in um, the clear cellophane and just tried to scrunch it all up as best as I could. I'm not really that good at that. But I tried my best and just get it all together in a neat, kind of really nice, presentable fashion. And then the bow was the type that you actually pull one end and then it just kind of turns into um, a bow and then there's little strings around it that you can tie around the top of the hamper. So it was really good and really handy. And it looked really nice, it looked really expensive, and it looked really thoughtful that I put all the I picked all these items personally and put them together. So I'm really hoping my friend really likes it. I gave her it at the weekend and I'm hoping at Christmas she'll let me know what she thinks. And I got her a few other things as well, but this one I just thought it looked really special and it was my first attempt. So if you have any feedback on how to improve that, then please let me know or if you've got any other ideas because I love watching things like this. Here I'm just wrapping up presents for my nieces and nephews and this is what I kind of came up with. So this is for my youngest niece who's um, Hello Kitty Daft and she is, she's just turned five. So I bought her a Hello Kitty bead set and Hello Kitty dressing gown and t-shirt and um, all the kids including my son I got um, a selection box as well. I had a kind of budget in mind, I've totally went over it with all the kids but I just like to get them something and my family don't really believe in Christmas and things but I think it's nice to do that. So each child's present I kind of put it together and then I wrapped a bow around it. My eldest niece who's 12, nearly 12, is a iPhone Success glitter um, phone case, a Redox gift set and a unicorn colour changing mug and I didn't bore you with the wrap and so I wrapped it and then I got some ribbon just to kind of bundle the presents together. For Ibrahim I made him firstly this Christmas Eve present which is a Night Before Christmas musical book and it's like a little like a hot chocolate kit and 
marshmallows and things like that. And they've got the five second game, five second rule game, sorry, and this um, magic pad so kids can draw on it and it lights up and it's really nice. And my son really wanted this uh, BGT buzzer. And he started to get back into Fireman Sam, so I got him this Transformer Fireman Sam toy. My wrapping's terrible, sorry about that. He quite a while ago mentioned Jenga, and I got him that, and I thought it's a good, fun game for us to play as a family. And he used to play it as, at, my, at his grand's house. I bought him these educational books as well, so it's not all games. Um, it's something to kind of stimulate his mind and he is very very clever and intelligent mashallah so I just want to nurture that even more and that's Abraham's chocolates and this is just the rest of my youngest nephews he's nine years old that's the rest of his gift so that was his Pokemon cards his GX cards and his Pokemon cards and he got a Lego construction set and also um, a selection box but the thing he'll love most is the um, the Pokemon cards and I put a little bow on it as well and that's Amar, my nephew's package already and this is my niece's package, it's all bundled together so on the following day we got went to Pets at Home, got some fishies and then to make my son's dinner I used my go-to Peri Peri sauce which I'll link below just cover some chicken breast in it put it in the oven for Ibrahim's burgers and then um, for my husband he loves biryani so I cut up um, two onions and then what I did was I fried them until they were browned and then I removed them from the pan So once the onions turn to this kind of nice brown colour, you remove them. And I didn't have a brownie masala mix, so what I did was uh, blended all the spices myself. So cumin, cinnamon, black pepper, star anise, green cardamom, cloves, um, black cardamom. Blitz this mixture into the food processor until it's a powder. And what I did was I used a spoon of that, a tablespoon of that into the rice. So when I was boiling the rice, I put a spoon of this in and then the remainder I put into, in with the chicken when I was. And you might have seen in the background, I had chopped up two to three tomatoes and just diced them up, left them to the side. And I crushed um, two green chilies, garlic and ginger together into a paste. So when I was frying the medium chicken, um, I put in all of that and I wanted it to be quite spicy so that's why I've put in so much and with the chicken and it made it really really nice and aromatic so I basically put the spice mixture in with the chicken and let it absorb into the meat and then I added in the blended brownie powder that we just made so you'll see when the colour changes um, into kind of whitish colour that's when I've added in the homemade brownie powder. I wanted quite a strong taste in the brownie, the way that you get from a packet masala but or even the whole spices but what I don't like is when you're eating it and you get loads of things in your teeth. You know like hard um, black peppers and cloves and things like that so blending it was, this is, I've never made it this way, it just came to me that I would be better to make it this way um, rather than having all those things that get in your way. So basically we're just coating the meat in that and stirring it. I added half of the onions in at this point and then I added in the chopped tomatoes. I mix this really well, get it all combined with the spices, um, get the chicken, uh, the tomatoes coated and covered um, amongst the spices of the chicken. Once I've given it a good mix and then I let it reduce a little bit, let the tomatoes go soft, um, cover it and cook it on a kind of medium to high heat, stirring 
um, every so often. So in order to get that gravy consistency, I've added in one large heap spoon of tablespoon sorry of um, Greek yogurt, and combined with the juices from the tomatoes and the chicken and the yogurt, it gives it, it gives it kind of nice gravy. And you can see that I've just added in some yellow food colour, and that's optional, but it gives the brownie a nice traditional colour. So while that's cooking and reducing, I've just started boiling the rice. One large mug soaked and I put some of the brownie masala in. And then when the rice had boiled to three quarter cooked, I drained them and then when the masala was ready, I layered the rice with the masala. And then in between I add the fried onion, some food colouring and um, coriander. And then I cooked it for another 10 minutes. And this was the final result. So this is the rice and I just made a mint and coriander chilli garlic raita. Um, yogurt so I served it with that so thank you for watching hope you liked the video please like share comment and subscribe like share comment and